friends are writing what's right now, but if you go to O'Reilly SHS around Okwebono, around the Teshi area, they are trending for a different issue. And the, the, just, uh, the campus is on fire right now because yesterday, one of the students stabbed another student. And unfortunately, that one has lost his life. Now, just, uh, what is ridiculous about this whole thing is the reason why they were even fighting in the first place. The reason why they were fighting is very ridiculous. Now, the, the guy who, is, who has passed away, unfortunately, his cousin is also in the school, and his cousin has come to narrate whatever happened. And I have the full gist for you. In case you're in the UK, USA, or Canada, you want to send money to friends and family in Ghana, Nigeria, Rwanda, and other African countries, kindly use Lemfi. Lemfi comes with no service charges, no transaction fees, and the exchange rates are the best. Go to the description, you see a link over there to take you to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Download the Lemfi app, use my promo code HEADLESS, and you get $30 cash back on your first $100 transaction. Yes, choose Lemfi. Now let's get into this story. I'm the Headless YouTuber, this Headless Reactions. So yesterday at O'Reilly SHS, the students were there and they just saw that there was some kind of commotion going on somewhere. The students were carrying somebody out of the school, shouting that where are the teachers, what's going on, what's going on. Now, when they went to check, the person that was being carried, his name is Edward Bokete Saki. Unfortunately, he lost his life. He was stabbed by another student called Godwin, a visual arts student. The guy Edward, no, he is a general arts 3 student. General arts 3rd year student too, of general arts 3. And the reason why there was this whole commotion was because of an argument. The argument is about, does your father have money more than my father? My father has more money than your father. I have things than you. I have this. I have that. You don't have this, you don't have that. I have a bicycle. I have a motorbike. I have a EPS5. You don't have. Hey, it's a lie. It's, that is what is caused, like, that's what caused the fight. Initially, the guy Edward, the guy who was the unfortunately stabbed, that guy Edward, he has a cousin, a female cousin in the school. So after writing one of his papers yesterday, he went to his cousin and told his cousin that, oh, please. I finished writing my paper and the girl said, okay, me too, I'm going to write mine. Nah, 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 nah. Now, before they realized there was some commotion going on somewhere, and that was when they were doing the argument. Now, this girl, Edward's cousin, he, she is in visual arts class, the same class with Godwin. So when the argument was going on, Godwin went to tell the cousin that, hey, go and tell your cousin that he should stop playing with me. Otherwise, he will see his blood. He should stop playing with me, otherwise just uh, his blood will flow on my hands. And what was the issue? Because of a, the same argument. Now later, there was another commotion. This time it had gotten heated. I don't know who was teasing who. I don't know who was losing the fight. Or losing the whole season of, you, my father has this, I have this, you don't have this. But there was commotion. And this girl went to tell the school teachers. The school teachers just said, uh, nonchalant they, they weren't even paying attention so the girl went to tell other people in the school she had another uncle being in the school she went to tell the uncle before they realized this guy Gordon had stabbed Edward and now the students were rushing the guy to the hospital carrying the guy and the way the students were carrying the guy cast some way but we'll talk about it later three stab wounds to the chest unfortunately they carried the guy to Lekma Hospital in Teshi. But when they got there, they said that, you know, DOA, dead on arrival. He had already passed before he got to the place. Now, the teachers, the 
did not follow, no teacher followed them to the hospital. It's like most of these stories you keep hearing in SHS, SHS. It's like the teachers, they, like they don't care about anything apart from teaching and their salary. Whatever the students do, they don't care. Because no teacher helped them, according to the girl. No? It was some mambi that was passing that helped them when they got outside the, the campus. That was when the man helped them, took them to Lekma Hospital. Now, this was the narration according to uh, the late Edward's uh, um, cousin in the school. This is what she said happened. He had a paper in the morning. He was done with his paper. And he came to me and was like, insist, I'm done with the paper. And I said, okay, I'm left with a few minutes. He's a final year student. Yeah, she's a final year student, a computer student. Junior arts, there. And he came to me, sister, I'm done with my paper. And I said, okay. He told me you're done with your paper. And I said, okay. And I told him, okay, I'm also going to start my paper. Yeah, not a few minutes, we heard there was some noise at the back. And we asked, what was wrong? And they said, yes, um, Godwin and Edward, they are fighting. And I said, oh, what's the fight about? And they said, oh, it's nothing serious. And I said, oh, okay. And the whole thing, no. But the whole thing was like, oh, uh, you, what do you have? Oh, me, I have this, oh, me, I have that. Oh, you are lying, you don't have this, oh. So that brought up the fight. That was the only thing I did. So, the moment that I was there, I thought, oh, maybe the whole thing is not, it's not no problem. And I said, okay, for a few minutes, and the guy, that the Godwin guy came, and he was like, hey, you want your brother. If you don't want your brother, your brother's blood will flow in my hands. And I was like, oh, what? That's what the, the guy... The guy that stabbed. That's what he told you. That's what he said. What he said uh, I should want my brother. If I don't want my brother, my brother's blood will flow on his hands. I was like, oh, why? It hasn't gotten to that. And he said, eh, I should want my brother. So, there are teachers in the school. Yeah, so, when the incident, when the, when the chaos was starting, my brother ran to the teachers. The teachers were sitting under the tree. That's in the school compound. About how many teachers did you see there? At me, I didn't look at the teachers, but I knew there were teachers sitting there because they were Practice, uh, we have paper, so definitely there are teachers. I didn't capture the teacher's face okay. because of what he told me. And I was calling the guy to stop, they didn't mind me. So I decided, okay, if they are not mind me, I have a big uncle here. So let me go to my uncle and go and report. So at that time, he, he had not stopped him no. yet? No, he has not stopped him yet. So I decided, let me go to my uncle and let me go and tell my uncle. This is what is happening in the school. Since the teachers are not doing anything. So when, when he came to tell you uh, to warn your brother, if you don't warn him, his blood would be on his hands. That scared you a little? Yes, that scared me because the guy is not someone that you would joke with. When he's coming to school, he had this small bag. He, because the guy is in visual art too. That's in my class. When he's coming, he has this small bag. That contains a lot of uh, handful something. That's nine, like things that... Things he can use to, to do his work, sculpture, stuff. stuff. Yes, you have things that is within that can help. So to me, I know him, he's from Teshi. So he told me, me, I'm Teshi guy. And also, I'm, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm a Teshi guy. I will show, if you don't want your brother, I will show him. So this guy, Godwin, who did the chicken, he is a visual student. He comes to school with all these things in his bag. I don't know whether it's because of the visual arts, maybe he's going to do drawings and stuff, so, or maybe he, they are doing pottery, or I don't know, whatever they do, sculpture. So he has all these weapons. And he used one to choke the guy three times to the chest. 
Yes, because my father has this. You don't have this. I don't have this. Or maybe I have this. I have PS5 who is a lie. You don't have. Hey. <laughs> now, if you see the way the students were even carrying their mates, just a first aid is something that we should take serious in this country. First aid. Because when there are certain things that at least you know that you need to apply pressure to the wound, you need to do some basic first aid. We don't know in this country. Basic first aid. People get accidents and if you look at the videos of how people are taking them out of the car, sometimes the people involved in the accident, they could, they could survive. But the people coming to take them out of the cars, they are the ones who end their lives. Because somebody has an accident, you don't know what is wrong with the person. And they will not be delicate. They will pull the person out of the car. First aid. Education on first aid. <laughs> we should really, really pay attention to that. So unfortunately, Edward Bokete Saki, unfortunately, lost his life. And this is apparently this is the second time something like this has happened in that school. So right now, Edward's father is calling for investigation, calling for justice, calling for the school authorities to be questioned. And the teachers who are present and they paid no mind or whatever, they today should be questioned. You are Edward's father. Yeah. What, what happened? Yeah, uh, what happened was just the, I see my boy off to come to school. So I want us to go to work. So I'm at work and my niece called me that uh, Edward is having misunderstanding. One of the um, students is having misunderstanding with Edward. So I should come. And so I asked her, like, are there not teachers at the school? And she said, the teachers are not sitting there unconcerned. And what is happening is unfair, so I should come. So I said, okay, then I'm coming. So on my way, when I got to the motorway, she called that the boy that is fight, fighting with Edward, I've stopped Edward. Lying down at the school premises, breathing, and the teachers are still sitting on concern. I said, "Wow!" Then I told, I said, "I'm coming." So on my way, when I get to Kotobabi, she called again that there is the student. I've gathered myself and pick him up. So they are going to Lekma. So I should rather come to Lekma and meet them there. So when I drove and I reached Lekma, I went to the emergency. The doctor said, "Edward has passed away," and that is it. So when they showed me the body. The boy stabbed him three times on his chest. So that lead him to his death. That's all. What have the school authorities been telling you? The school authorities have not said anything from yesterday up to now. The police have not caught. The, the school authorities have not caught. Even the boy who killed my son, neither the family have even reached me. That's why we are here to seek for justice for my son. What intentions do you have going forward? We want access from the school. From the school authority. From the school authority. The parent of the boy. And the parent of the boy. And the police. What happened? I, I, I just want to know what happened. To the extent of leading to a, a student stabbing his, 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 his friend. That's, such a punishment. That's all we want. We want the justice. And we want the school authority to explain to us. Either like the teachers are not at the school and it happened, or they are there and it happened, or they don't care. That is all we want. We want answers from the school authority. That's all we want. So you've come here a day after the incident. Have you been able to go into the school to engage anybody? They have bring policemen to block every gate, stopping us to even go in. I don't think you, the media, you're giving the idea, allow you to go in there. They put policemen here. They're not allow anyone in there. That like nobody too is ready to come out even what talk to us. And that is why we are here. That, that's the most painful part, not getting the answers you seek. Uh, a very sad story. But how is your family dealing with this loss? It's sad. You can see. These are my family, family and friends. These are friends and family. These are friends and family. You understand? Hey. You can't treat somebody's child like that. I don't know what to say. This is my family. Everyone is here. We are all here for the school to come and do it. Explain. What is going on in our, in our high schools? Is it that the teachers are not being paid enough so they don't really care about whatever happens in the school? They are just there to teach, take their salary and go. They don't care whether the students hurt or whatever. What is going on? So yes, O'Reilly SHS. This is the story that's coming out so far. Police went to the school. I'm very sure they picked the guy up by now. What's in the car there? Um, unsure, unsure. He will not even write the rest.
But then, more information will come and we'll get it to you. Until then, this is the sad news that's coming from O'Reilly SHS. SHS students, arguing and all this season is normal. But how should it get to this level where somebody will get, you know, choke somebody something three times in the chest? That's bad. Anyway. Hmm. Sorry. Sorry to the um, Edwards family. Sorry. Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless and um, be careful out there. It's not everybody that you tease. It's not everybody that you play with. There are some people that they are wicked. They are just looking for a way to hurt you. If you give them away or you give them a, the slightest chance, they will hurt you. So take care of yourselves out there. Whether you're in SHS or university, outside world, whatever it is. Take care of yourself. If you're teasing somebody and the person is getting angry, please. It's okay, castle. And I don't know. Yeah, I mean. Yeah,